Switch gears now uh, to more trouble this morning for Justin Bieber. After some public meltdowns on his European tour, one of his neighbors back in California is telling police that Bieber assaulted him during a shouting match. ABC's Rob Nelson has the story. Here we go again, another sour note for the Biebs. The Biebs being investigated. Justin Bieber is being investigated. This time the pop sensation is being accused of battery after an allegedly nasty confrontation with a neighbor Tuesday at Bieber's home in Calabasas, California. It had to do with an, um, allegations of a battery and threats made by Mr. Bieber on uh, one of his neighbors. According to reports, the boyfriend singer had just returned home from concerts overseas when he began racing his Ferrari up and down the streets. Angered by all that noise, the neighbor reportedly confronted the crooner. He is now accusing Bieber of threatening him, even making physical contact. Overnight, Bieber's neighbor told ABC News he's a punk. He thinks he's invincible. He can't continue to have a bunch of enablers around him. It was a very very unpleasant and upsetting situation. This is just the latest mishap in a string of bizarre, hot-tempered behavior by the performer. On Monday, the Beeb showed up at airport security in Poland shirtless. And a few weeks ago, he tweeted a shirtless picture of himself from the hospital after collapsing during a London concert. Lately, the public has been seeing more than just Justin's abs, but also his temper as he lashed out against a photographer a few weeks ago. What'd you say? On top of that, a former bodyguard is suing Bieber, claiming the singer assaulted him. Charges the Bieber camp denies. Hey girl, let me talk to you. I think when you're flying that high, it's inevitable that you're going to land one day and you're going to hit the ground. And the question is, how hard is he going to hit the ground? Now, TMZ is also reporting this morning that several neighbors are backing up the story of Bieber's reckless driving. They say it was especially dangerous because it all happened at 9 o'clock in the morning when people were walking their dogs and many kids in that neighborhood are home for spring break. We'll see how it turns out. George? Slow down. Yeah. <laughs>